So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we'll cover this amazing lab that is related to VPC and subnet so first of all click on start lab and if you're totally new to this channel do like the video and subscribe the channel now let's get started so basically open the cloud console in cognito window now here it is getting signed in automatically if it asks for username and password you can refer to the lab instructions right so just wait for some time and here a pop-up will come you have to just click on i understand and then another pop-up will come that will say i agree and continue basically you have to just select the terms and conditions here select the i agree and agree and continue now the next step is that we have to activate the cloud shell so how will activate the cloud shell do you know you have to just click on it and the cloud shell activation will start here basically you have to click on continue and authorize yourself right you have to just click on continue and authorize now wait for the cloud shell session to initiate click on authorize first of all just click on authorize and the cloud shell session will be live and in case you haven't liked the video yet do like the video and subscribe the channel now first of all let me increase the font size do you know many participants are using mobile phone for doing labs now here come to the setting of environment the first thing is that we have to just set up the project id and in case it shows that it is not logged in you can run gcloud auth login now let's export the region command and then we'll export the zone so what i said if you get any kind of error first of all you have to learn g cloud space auth space login and hit enter then you have to just like you authenticate any google form etc google account apps etc you have to authenticate yourself like that only now once you have exported the region and zone we have to just create a bucket so we are creating the bucket and after that we'll re enable the cloud resource api so just enable it it will take some time and it will be surely updated now once it is done wait for some time and then we'll run the next command and for all the level 3 games you can check the playlist now basically we have to create files so copy the file name and we are we are using nano editor so type nano space the file name and then hit enter so just paste over here control x y and then hit enter this is the way to save the file control x y and then hit enter now we have to create a variable tf file copy the file name like this come again type nano and if you make any mistake just use the backspace and then hit space and then paste the file name now paste the file contents over here to save control x y and then hit enter okay now once you have done this thing you have to also create an output file so just copy the file name like this go to the shell type nano space output and then hit enter now paste the content over here and to save Control x y and then hit enter now we have saved all the contents now we have to run the initiate command and after that what command will run can you say yes you said it right the plan command and once we are planning basically it will show what changes will be reflected you need to understand in previous trivia i already said the what asked you about the question what does these commands do so many of you haven't answered so try to answer it now run the apply auto approve command and here sometimes what happens it gets auto approved automatically but if it asks to enter yes type yes and then hit enter okay so this was about this challenge and we are final stage of this lab i hope you are enjoying the arcade program and do like the video and subscribe the channel so let's wait now just come over here and check the score and as you can see we got the score we can end the lab that's all about this video thank you have a great day ahead